Hello, my name is Denis Kondratenko and today I will talk about the OpenSUSE way as a full wayland desktop environment based on Sway. I used to work at SUSE for some time, now I work at Percona, but still I support some of the packages in OpenSUSE and I use Tumbleweed uh, really well and I huge fan of uh, the OpenSUSE Tumbleweed rolling release. If you want to contact me, uh, you can send me email or uh, on GitHub you can open issues or something, or maybe even on Discord you can contact me there. I'm an open super the community as well. What is the open source way, right? Uh, I had a talk uh, before about it, and so you can find it on my github io page the last year on the on the say on this uh, uh, conference and you can find out the basics what is that how it works and etc after that we actually created the portal when there are much more extensive information what kind of packages it includes and how it's configures uh, in the basic it's tries to create the desktop environment. It's probably really good stuff for the beginners that are starting with the tiling Windows Manager and maybe have some issues to stop it from scratch. This provides you everything and then you can customize it. It has login manager, manager status bar, pre-configured, the notifications as well as the Sway itself. Uh, it actually consists from a couple of parts. One is the just a, a lot of the config files uh, and some of the config files and also the spec files which lives in OBS. It's a pattern that's uh, preset up the needed packages as well as uh, the open source way itself. So so that's uh, lives on GitHub and in the OBS, how it looks like in the, on the system. It's just the Sway config file, the standard one that lives in ETC as well as includes your own directory for customization. And the system one, the desktop uh, environment, which set up some of the more uh, controls for you, uh, like rising the volume, some of the special key bind uh, bindings, uh, some of the uh, themes, the notificator, and for example, here is a poll kit GNOME authentication agent, which allows you to run as a privileged user. For example, you're running some application that requires the privileges and it will pop up uh, and uh, ask you permissions, like uh, ask you a password. And uh, let's talk about uh, what is new uh, since last time. So the new stuff here is the, for example, there was the uh, community contribution, there is new a status indicator about the packages, how many packages uh, needs to be updated, so it queries it and show it out, show, show it, it's on the, here, and it also if you click on that, it will run zippered up to update the packages, it will ask you if you are, you, you would like to proceed all of that stuff. So, this uh, actually done in, uh, in Waybar, so you can see this just queries number of packages and indi indicates it. And uh, when you click it, it runs the terminal and just do the update, uh, update the repos and then do the zipper dot. Another feature that was added is the grid uh, grid D. Uh, Gritter supports the GTK styles now and we 
the, the other the styles here to match all the experience so you see the background and kind of uh, your style of open source the way so you can log in into your into the uh, sway another big topic uh, for the sway and wayland in general is the sharing the screen applications uh, during the zoom calls or other video conferences you would like to share the screen um, not all of the applications support wayland natively or not all the protocols for example zoom uh, doesn't support the sway out of the box but uh, we can uh, override that or just like um, uh, overcome that with using the loopback device so uh, i set it up the loopback uh, module in my system which allows me to share uh, some of the screen or part of the screen all the screen through the video device that is presented as video camera to the system so to do that you just need to install the kernel module for that as well as uh, utils are really uh, handsome to actually find the which device you use so um, for that you need to load that uh, module or you can probably start it up automatically i'm doing that by hand when i need it after loading you can start the recording and for that i use vf recorder which can share part of the screen or full screen uh, so it's understand the valent protocol and uh, what it does it actually outputs the selected region and here i have just pressed it to, i have it set it up right i know which part of the screen i'm sharing in my tiling windows so i just uh, set it set set that uh, geometry over here and i'm uh, sharing this uh, resolution and for zoom it works the best i think uh, there are some glitches uh, depends how zoom scales the image so you can you, you can experiment and find out by yourself there are a couple of uh, needed keys for the loopback device those are important and you can find them on the video recorder page and uh, here is the output right it's where you streaming uh, this is, should be a loopback device and to find out the loopback device you can use the uh, ctl uh, tool which you can just list devices and you can see that's the virtual camera or loopback is set up on the dev video zero i have my external camera as well as integrated one now when we set up like we have ability to stream the part of the screen through the video camera interface uh, we need zoom to work right and zoom out of the box doesn't support sway so uh, we set up uh, this way actually set up this environment xdg desktop environment so it's it shows the sway right and uh, zoom doesn't know about that let's run zoom and you can see that it runs it's fine it can actually share my video i won't i won't share it but when you push the screen it has the error message that it supports it only on a knob so i dig it a little bit further and i found out that sexually can be uh, really easily fixed right so i just instead of setting this so i just override this uh, environment for zoom and uh, that makes it think that's knob so let's run zoom again and you can 
see now if I push share screen, it's actually have the share dialog. And here it's like you use the content of second camera, which will be loopback device. Right now I use it for this streaming, but it will be essentially the same. So I will just stream this part of the screen. So you can share with Zoom and everything works as expectedly. So it can share. If you do not use flat pack, uh, just prepend this environment and run zoom like that it will work or you can replace that in desktop file if you would like to but some of the applications actually support the uh, screen sharing from natively right for example Jitsi Jitsi supports the uh, screen sharing out of the box with Firefox <laughs> so that's you can see that's like uh, I'm just sharing the same uh, part of the video and on my left side is my OBS on my right side you see the part of the screens I am sharing so this shares the full screen which in my case is quite big so The resolution is too big to share the full uh, I mean it's not too big you can share that but uh, you don't need that I use flat pack quite extensively and uh, everything works for me like OBS studio where I record in this the slack video works everything works uh, then uh, the zoom telegram uh, so this XDG portals uh, the flat pack works really well what is next uh, next is uh, we have this uh, project uh, and we try and plan what we are doing i would like to add the install uh, this way open source way into the installator but for that i probably will need to add some tests so it's some kind of for long time and backlog but eventually maybe i would find time or maybe someone will contribute that I think we will just continue to support the people, ask questions, open the issues, and uh, a bit further we'll try to improve the UI UX uh, for the OpenSUSE way, maybe adding some application and scripts uh, to do some stuff automatically as better desktop environment. We also plan to go to user ETC, there are some issues, so we need to do that. And that's more or less it for community. Another stuff that is in long uh, there is what maybe needs to be fixed is just like how to enable Grid D as the uh, default uh, display manager. Currently, it's done by hand. Uh, I think that's because the OpenSUSE, not it, I'm not it, I think it's for sure OpenSUSE used the xdm i actually as default display manager it's set up in the preset that uh, actually xdm provides the display manager service and that's a default and you need xdm and i actually do not like to add it because it's full valent and i don't like like x anywhere i even tried to maybe figure out how some rfc how to fix that in the open source but i mean this is just how open source works it's used the alternatives instead update alternatives instead of the uh, system d and xdm service actually figure out which uh, display manager to to, to check and uh, you can actually figure out this in the uh, the documentation I would like to add grid D to preset, but that's not possible currently. Uh, maybe the Fedora does it differently. Maybe we should do that way. But anyway, this is not critical to add. So I would like to thank the community that people that contributed or opened the issues with suggestions or uh, with uh, notice. Thank you, everyone. Uh, use open source way, try it, use open source, use Sway, Tiling Windows Manager and Wayland. Thank you, bye bye.